Hi friends, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about an experience that I recently had by somebody making me a custom wig. So the owner of Big Wig Bar on Instagram, and I'll make sure I add her handle below, reached out to me um, once I started posting my content and said that she really loved what I was doing and wanted to make me a custom piece. So of course I jumped at the chance to be able to do that because I love supporting small businesses too, because you know, how do you not? So I wanna talk about a little bit about my experience with you. So when she originally reached out to me, um, we had kind of discussed what color I usually wear, what length, you know, if I wanted bangs, didn't want bangs, just to kind of get a general idea, because um, I wasn't really sure. But I thought for something that, you know, as a custom piece, I wanted to be able to wear it a lot. So I was like, let's go with my natural color, which I mean, I know I don't have any hair on my head, but um, my natural color is a darker brown. So I thought, let's go with that really rich, you know, when you think brunette, that hair color. So that's exactly what we went with. So after I took my measurements and sent them over to her just for cap size, um, she got the wig done really quickly. And um, it is a human hair piece as well. So I want to make sure I mention that too. Um, but it got done and got to me, I think within a couple of weeks. So it was, I, it might not even been that long, honestly, I just can't remember. Um, but it came really quickly and it is absolutely beautiful. So I want to show it to you guys. So here we have her. She is human hair. Like I said, she's a little bit wavy because I've been wearing her and she was straightened and it's been a little uh, rainy here in Pittsburgh. So it didn't fully straighten, stay straightened, I should say. Um, but she does have bangs on the front, like I said. Um, but I wanted to kind of go over some of the details with you about the features of it. I don't know if all of the wigs are like this, but I know mine is, and I'm going to tell you why I love it. So first of all, with a lot of human hair wigs, a lot of them are fully lace in the cap. Not always, but usually the ones you most commonly see are. This one I love because it's not, so you can actually, I don't I don't know what the cap is called, don't come for me. If somebody wants to clarify in the comments, please tell me. I just genuinely don't know. Um, but I kind of love that you can, you know, like whenever you stick, like if I go to scratch my head, I can actually stick my finger there. I know it sounds crazy, but like sometimes padding just doesn't do it. <laughs> so I'm very careful about where I do it and if, you know, it's a cap like this versus an actual lace, because if you do scratch lace, it could, um, ruin the knot and eventually your hair will fall out so don't do that but um I love that the cap is the way that it's made it also has little ear flaps I know that sounds crazy but I love ear flaps I think it just makes positioning your wig so much easier instead of you having to manually trim it but that was definitely super helpful okay moment of truth we're gonna pop this guy on I already know what it looks like because I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks because I wanted to wear it to be able to give you guys an honest you know here's my take here's what I think after wearing it for some time but I always put uh, wigs like this on I mean most of my wigs um, I put on this way especially with ones with flaps so I kind of flip it inside out a little bit and then just toss it and then adjust with your ear flaps and then very gently just kind of yank it down into place if you go to pull bang try not to pull your bangs but if you need to just to adjust a little bit you can but um there we go So we are all pretty much adjusted. I do have a little bit, a little comb that I will kind of comb down the bangs if I need to. Um, if the bangs need to be re-straightened, that's super easy. I just straighten them on my face. Um, I don't fully flat straighten them because then they kind of stick out weird. So I do a little bit of a curve in them. Um, but I, uh, I really love this wig. Like I said, it's really comfortable. I personally love that I don't have to glue it down because sometimes I don't like gluing my wigs down and my human hair wigs that I have right now I have to glue down unfortunately so I love that I don't have to glue this one down so I can just kind of pop it on and be out the door um I will style it I won't style it a ton of different ways just because the way the um cap is made which again is not a bad thing it's just everybody has their limitations um what I've been doing a lot recently is I was looking for a hair tie and I don't have one here shockingly um so I'll kind of just pull some back a little bit so we can style it you know just like a little half up half back moment um I did curl it the other day and then I'm gonna post some pictures on my Instagram as well of it style different ways or you know just out and about different moments <laughs> throughout the uh, couple past couple of weeks but um, I really love this wig. I haven't really had any shedding, um, you know, a little bit initially as it was like settling, you know, pretty normal, but I have zero complaints. My experience was so great. I'm so impressed. If you can have the chance to work with her or even just somebody that you may know or somebody that may reach out to you or somebody that you reach out to, I highly encourage you to do it. 
So because this is a human hair wig, obviously you have to wash it the same. Um, I wash it a little bit less, or I'm sorry, more often, um, but I am way more gentle with it. So usually I will take my human hair wigs into the shower with me and kind of like hold it as I wash. This one, I'm gonna kind of like let it into a tub or a sink. Um, but I don't wear it super, super often, so I haven't washed it yet, but I have been very, like, very selective about when I wear it and how for how long and things like that. So there hasn't been a time where I've worn it, like, the entire day. It's been, like, 30 minutes to a meeting or an hour to the grocery store or something like that. So I don't feel like I've had the need to wash it yet. I am going to do a separate video on how I style my human hair wigs. Um, human hair is what I primarily wear anymore, so that's, you know, I'm going to show you guys that. This will probably be included just because it is the only one that I have currently with things. Um, so I will definitely include that in the video, so be on the lookout from that. Um, but like I said, overall, I am super impressed. It is so comfortable. I, it feels really lightweight, but like it still looks really natural. Like I don't feel like it's bare or anything. Um, I definitely was a little bit concerned when I pulled the, the cap out just because I saw it initially, but once I put it on... I, all my concerns went away. Um, but I'm super impressed and I'm really happy. I have no other, <laughs> no other words. I will be sure to add her Instagram handles in both the description and on my Instagram once I actually post and post some photos. Um, but definitely check her out, give her a follow, tell her I sent you, <laughs> um, whatever you guys want to do. Um, but I highly encourage you to, to work with her if you can. Sorry I don't have a longer video for you guys today. I mostly just wanted to highlight um, my experience and getting the wig, the ordering, everything. I truly have nothing but good things to say. Um, but I did want to make a little announcement. So I know the past couple of weeks have been a little bit chaotic for me. So I'm actually going to move to posting once every two weeks rather than once a week. Um, with the holidays coming up, it's just really demanding it's gonna be a little bit difficult to do once a week. So we're gonna move to every two weeks and I think it's gonna work a little bit better for me. You're still gonna see me on Instagram, so don't worry, but I definitely think once every two weeks gonna be a little better for me and I'm gonna bring be able to bring better content to you guys um, and better ideas. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for sticking with me again. You know the drill by now. If you wanna get a hold of me, you can send me an email at thatoneballchick412 at gmail.com or you can find me on Instagram at thatoneballchick. I'll see you next time, guys.